Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Uh, this video is just, uh, I'm just showing you a few contactors that I've got, contactor switches. They basically do the, uh, they work like a uh, relay. And, uh, sorry about that, getting an email, probably one of you guys emailing me or leaving a comment. But uh, yeah, I'm just showing you a few uh, contactors that I've got. Um, this is the largest one I've got, this is quite a good high amperage one, this one. Um, which is 240 volts. This one I got from this scrapyard, which I've got two of these, one for me and one for my friend uh, John High Voltage Projects. And uh, unfortunately though, the thing is with these, they are 600 volts up to, and the coil itself is, there's a label somewhere which shows, right, it's on top of there. I read it on the inside of it anyway, and the, the coil itself, the voltage on the coil is 400 volts for the coil to uh, to latch. So, <clears throat> I don't know if you're watching this one John, but uh, unfortunately these are 400 volts mate, to uh, get it to latch properly. Um, um, otherwise it just hums like mad at 240 volts, because I've tried it. And uh, sounds pretty cool though, because you can hear the, uh, the 50 hertz from the the AC voltage but uh, unfortunately though they don't latch but I don't know whether or not it would be uh, help you know, any use for you mate but I'll save one for you for when you come down in the new year anyway but yeah I've got these ones from the scrapyard today the, these are all from the scrapyard from uh, <clears throat> many journeys there uh, this is a pretty good one. I've got the top for it somewhere. That's how they look without the top on like this. I've got the top for it somewhere um, in the shed. But um, I've left it off just to show you what they look like inside these uh, three phase latching. So I'll switch this one on and show you it working. I love that noise when it doesn't latch properly, that hum. Of course, when it's latching, these aren't these aren't live, these aren't at all. Because basically this is just basically one big electric, it's like a relay of switch, of, of, which is the same as a relay in, in theory. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you have to put a a current uh, through these to enable these to be live of course when it's latched over the only live part of it when it's switched on is when it is is the is the uh, the input just there and you can see the wires just going in there this is my favorite though I do like this one and then I'll go down to these these are the little ones I've got these are all 240 volts up to this one, this is 12 volts, I'll show that one working in a minute. But yeah, this is the smallest one I've got, this is 240 as well. I'll show this one working. Quite tiny. Okay. That's a label on that one. Upside down. So yeah, so uh, the more you use up, as as you see, three on each side, because when it's latched, when it's latched, another way, when it's power going through it and it's latched out, latched over, it basically connects this side to this side. So if you've done what is on here, you can basically have it drive more amps, because you're using more of the. Uh, the switch contactors so, so yeah that's a pretty decent little one and then there's all these ones as well this one's wired up ready uh, that's the label on this side upside down <laughs> So it looks like this one's 
Looks like this one's 10 amp, this one. Could be more. So it's 10 amp there. I suppose the, the lower the voltage, the higher the amps, and the, the higher the voltage, then the lower the amps, if that's how they, if that's how they work, if I uh, remember rightly. So the more voltage you go up, then the less, uh, the less amps you can use. So, and this one, which is 12 volts, which you can see the coil on this one, quite a large coil. And there should really be some, um, some sort of wrapping around those. But uh, there's no wrapping around it for some reason. But that's how I found it in the scrapyard in uh, a electrical box. I'll show you this one working at 12 volts. So there you go. <coughs> found this really nice little amp meter at the scrapyard today yeah because I went to the yeah you're probably all wondering hey you've been to scrapyard yes I went today to just go and pick two of these up and another one of those large um, capacitors I've got which uh, my friend John wants which I'm giving him one but yeah this is a nice little 20 amp display um, meter which is pretty cool I got it before he got uh, destroyed So there you go guys, thought I'd share those with you, some nice big contactors and nittlings, look after yourselves, be safe, speak again.